Hello everyone, this is Linda again. Welcome back to my channel. In several of my Google Drive videos, we looked at how to use Google Drive with a service account. And as an example, I showed you how to upload a file to my personal Google Drive account. Some of you pointed out that I neglected to show you exactly how to go about finding the file ID of the folder to upload to. In this video, I'm going to show you an easy way to find the file ID you shared with the service account. In this video, I assume that you already have created your service account over on Google Cloud Console. If you haven't, I have another video which will walk you through how to create your own service account over on Google Cloud Console. Just remember to enable the Google Drive API under Library on the left-hand side. In order to share a folder with the service account, you need to have the service account email address. You can find the service account email address inside of the key file that you downloaded from Google Cloud Console. If you open this file in any text editor, you will find that it's just a JSON object. You will find that one of the parameters inside of the object is actually the service account email address. I call it an email address because it actually has an at sign inside of it, so it looks like an email address. If for some reason you don't have the key file and you can't find it in there, then you can actually go over on Google Cloud Console for your project and you can find the service account's email address right here. Once you've found your service account's email address, you can then go over to Google Drive, find the directory you'd like the service account to have access to, right click on it, go to shared, and then simply add the service account email address here. You don't need to bother adding any note to it because the service account can't read it, so it doesn't really matter. And that's it. You've shared the folder with the service account it should now have access. So now it has access, but how do you upload to it? In order to be able to upload to it or read from it, you need the folder ID or the file ID of the folder. The easiest way to find it is if you have access to the Google Drive account where the folder is being shared from. If you look at the top bar here, that is the file ID that you will need to upload to. It's that simple. That is the easiest way to find it. Using the Google Drive API with a service account, in my opinion, is a match made in heaven. There are so many things that you can do with it. My favorite is using it uh, to back up log files on web servers. You back them up directly over to Google Drive and you know they're safe there. I have seen several small companies do this. Well, that's it for now. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, please consider giving it a like and subscribing and coming back to see more of my Google developer content. And as always, I hope you have a really great day.